What is going on doggies? Welcome back to another video and welcome to a sashimi chat. Not even a sashimi challenge man. This is just a big, dirty, juicy yellowfin tuna and um, I've got one hell of an episode for you guys. Have a look at this thing. Had to cut the tail off it so it fit in the esky last night but this is a beautiful 20 kilo yellowfin tuna and um, yesterday it was a bloody good day. I took the boat out on a solo fishing mission and um, it was it was a day to remember. Some of the most horrible, disgusting, embarrassing things happened on the boat. Also some of the most incredible, fun, crazy things happened on the boat. I was out there by myself and you guys are about to see all this footage or roll it on in a little bit. But um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to clean up this big, beautiful yellowfin tuna I've got in the background here. We're going to make some fresh sashimi, we're going to keep the head for soup, we're going to do a whole lot of stuff with this big, beautiful monster of a fish look at that it's 20 kilos of goodness right there and we are about to make some extremely fresh fresh sushimi sushimi speak language field days on this incredibly bloody beautiful beach here all right so before i show you guys the footage of catching this incredible bloody fish what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the head off first we're going to take off this top shoulder loin we're gonna take off this stomach loin and then we're gonna make some incredibly fresh yellow fin sashimi. Bit of soy sauce, it is gonna be absolutely bloody beautiful on sunset. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start disassembling this fish, coming behind this petrol fin, straight down on a, about a 45 degree angle until you hit the spine there. I'm gonna cut through like this. And then we're gonna to have to flip the fish over once. Oh, big dog, eh? Lift up that, lift up that other petrol fin there. I'm gonna come in behind it. Another on a 45, coming right up into the top of that head before you hit the spine, until you hit the spine. All right, what I'll do is I'll whack you guys on my head so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. Just got a big juicy meat cleaver out. What you wanna do is once you've separated that from there, you want to sort of come in here and you've just got to pop that bone there, separate the head just like that. Now that I've separated that head away, it should pull out. There we go, look at that. So there is a big juicy tuna head. That thing holds a whole lot of meat right up here, right up here, big cheekbones. And as you can see here, look at that, that's all meat there. Big, beautiful chunk of meat in here. Probably the next thing you want to do on a tuna like this is you can see here that petrol fin when they suck in and they turn, in, turn into bullets through the water there's this hard little bit of crusty sort of sort of formated scales there. What you want to do is just put, bring your nice sharp knife under that and you're just going to get rid of that. It's going to make it a lot easier when you're coming back later on. So let's just get rid of this top surface of skin just like that. That can go in the bin. The seagulls will have a chew of that. Now we're down to the business end. This is an extremely awkward table to be working on, but it's all I've got at the moment, so I'm just gonna have to make do. I would love to have my ironing board here right now, but it's, um, it's strapped on the tinny. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna make an incision straight down the back. Try to find a center line where that spine runs down. You can kind of see a bit of a line. What you wanna do is follow that. So you're gonna bring your knife down, and you're just gonna drag your knife all the way, hitting that bone the whole way down. Wow, look at this. This is good, man. This is really good. Just like that. What I'll do actually, I'll rip this fish around because I want to take off that top shoulder first. So I'll sw swing him around like that. We're going to take off this top shoulder of meat first. You just want to hear that knife popping along the bones. It's going tick, 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 tick along each bone. Saving as much meat as you possibly can. Should have one more run from here. That should fall away nicely. Just like that. Look at that. That is a chunk of meat if I've ever seen one. That is a big, beautiful piece of fresh, as fresh as it gets, yellowfin tuna right there. Ha ba ba ba. Look at this. Not a lot of meat left there. These beautiful little pieces here. You can um, take them home, dip them in soy sauce. That's exactly what we're gonna do later on. 
What I'll do is I'll finish cleaning this fish. I'm gonna do exactly the same on that side and then flip the fish exactly the same on the other side. While I'm doing that, I will, um, I'll show you guys the footage of catching this fish. It was a bloody fun day. Strap yourselves in. I made an absolute dick of myself out there. You guys will see why. Come back here, we'll have a feed of this fish. It's gonna be a good time. Much love, I'll see you on the boat. How? All right, the day is getting on, but I've just seen a little school of fish here. There's dolphins, there's everything going on. I don't know what they are. They're sharks or dolphins, but oh, that was a hit. Yeah, is that a fish? Oh, we got a fish on. We got a fish on casting the jig into this pile of, I think they're sharks, eh? You guys have got to look at this. Check this here. Oh, can you see just here? Oh, that tuna, that big tuna. Look at that tuna. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! That tuna blowing up. I got. Oh, this is mayhem. This is a good fish, man. I got this rod out. This is bloody. This fish is schooling me. Come on. Look at this. Oh, baby. Look at this. Look at this bait ball here. It's getting absolutely destroyed. This is a good fish that I got on here. Just casted a jig into that pile of bloody tuna. I hope this thing stays in. I want to see what they are. My mate rang me before and he asked for a tuna and we've got a tuna on. That was all happening, man. That was psycho. Hope I can get, oh, look at him over here. Look at this, look at this. Can you see that all that there? That tuna exploding the surface. This is sick. Oh, look at that one. That's a big one, man. Oh, you don't see this every day, doggies. That's killer. Oh! Oh, no! This is, this is good. This is really, really good. Oh, my God. Get the gas. Gas this fish right now. We've got the gaff in it. We've got the gaff in it. Right. Oh. They're still there. Let's see if we can get one more, eh? Oh my God, this is froth town. Woo! I get so excited, eh? How could you not get excited at this shit? Look at this thing. Oh, oh my God, there's yellow fin tuna. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. That is a bloody rocket of the sea. I don't know, this is I'll weigh it in a minute, but it's a beautiful fish on jigging gear. There's an FDYS jig hanging out of his gob. Yeah, baby. Look at that thing. That's what it's all about, doggies, right there. Ow! That's so sick. Oh my goodness. Bro, you wouldn't even believe what just happened just then. Look at me, I'm soaking wet. What happened just then? I'm trying to take a photo of that yellowfin tuna. I got one of my GoPros set up here on the deck and it just starts kicking and I'm like, whoa, holding on to it. And then it just goes, Soom, slips out of my hand. Then the GoPro just launched off of the boat. The GoPro started sinking. I've just jumped in fully clothed, swimming down, opening my eyes, trying to find the GoPro. Oh, I got the GoPro back. It is flogged and, um, there you go, I just lost that yellowfin tuna. You're kidding. I'm gonna go find that school and get one more. I want that for dinner. That's ridiculous. Lesson learned. Don't hold a big fish up against the side of the boat like that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go try to find these fish. I'm soaking. I've got to change the clothes in there. I might whack it on. Oh, you're kidding me. What the, what, what, what? That is the most, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever done. I can't believe, I, I, had, I had two options just then. It was either grab the fish or grab the GoPro. I'm like, I grabbed the fish's tail and then I just seen that GoPro was like a meter under and it was just going down. I'm like, I've got to get the GoPro. And I was trying to swim with the fish and swim down and get the GoPro. I had, I, that was chaotic, dude. 
Anyway, we've got the GoPro back and um, I've got two photos of the fish on the GoPro and the third photo is where the fish is like launching out of my hand and then that's when the whole chaotic thing just started. So, oh my goodness, man, that was hectic. Anyway, trolling a lure again and I'll try to find that patch of fish, but I don't know if we'll find them again, eh? That is devastating, dude. I can't believe I just did that. What an idiot. Sometimes it's hard out here when you're solo and you're trying to film. Anyway, I'm not making excuses. I'm just a dumb dog. That was pretty funny, but the boys are going to give me some serious shit about that one. Well, we'll just keep charging up this way and we'll try to find those fish again. Hopefully we find them. I can't believe that. I really, really can't believe that. Feel free to roast me in the comment section because I deserve it. <laughs> My goodness. Look, look at that. That's all bait fish. That whole entire red thing there is bait fish. The whole entire ocean is full of them, man. I've got about a bee's dick sun left. I am miles and miles away from where I launched the boat. And um, this is this is sick. <laughs> look at this. This is hectic. Come on, man. I need to find them tuner again. I can't believe I did that, dude. Oh, you know what time it is? We just got, oh no, it just come off. No way, did it just come off. What is going on with the luck today, man? We just got smashed on that trolling lure. What is happening? This is so bad, dude. What is going on? <laughs> That lure just got smoked again, but whatever's hitting it, it's just not hooking up. It's just coming in, having a crack, and it's just dropping it twice now. Come on, come on, do it again. Do it again, do it again, baby, come on. The fish are coming in, they're smacking that lure, but they're not hooking up properly. Come on, baby, come on. All right, that's a fish. That is a fish on. Here, here. You guys can go there. Look at this. All right, this is a fish. We've got a fish. I just spun the boat around. I've come back over the same ground. Let's hope this hook stay in. Please stay in. I don't even know what this is yet, but it's a fish. By the way, look at that beautiful view right there you guys are seeing. This is why I love this doing this kind of shit. I need to make up for that tuna. Please be a tuna. Please be a tuna. Look at that view! Tide lines, beautiful sunsets. <sighs> Mate, this has got to be a tuna. Please be a tuna. <laughs> no! No! That was another yellow fin tuna! Look! I pulled the hooks just at the boat. Shut up! That was another yellowfin tuna. We just pulled the hooks at the boat. Let's go again. Holy moly, dude. Oh! What is going on right now? Anyway, this is fishing. It's so fun, it's so exciting. I've just turned around, I'm going back on that same line I just did. Bait fish everywhere. We just need to wait for that rod to scream one more time. I don't think I could go any softer. Next time I'm just gonna go super soft. If there is a next time. Oh man, I'm gonna be driving back in the pitch black at night and I don't know these waters very well. That's all right. It's worth a yellow fin in the esky. Oh man, we're getting schooled again. I don't want to go too hard on this fish, but we've just got another hook up right now. And um, I don't want to go too hard on this fish because we've lost two now, or three, or I don't even know if I've lost count. But um, we've definitely got another fish on this thing. Hit it like a friggin' road train, man. I don't want to go too hard. I'm just going to take my time. I do not want to lose this fish, bro. It's about to get really dark very, very quickly. I can't go in until I get one of these in the esky. 
This is the most psycho day out of your solo, man. Holy moly, this is why I do it, dude. This is exactly why I do this kind of thing. Nothing beats this, dude. Money can't buy this happiness right now, dude. This is the best thing ever. Oh, man. Please come in, baby. Please come in. I'm not going to celebrate. Not even going to celebrate right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, man. It's not, it's, it's, it's just coming towards the boat. We're drifting towards it. It's still got so much juice in it. Watch this. It's going to scream. Loosen my drag off. Oh, I can't lose this fish, man. Here he goes. Wow, man, he hit it like an absolute... Man, he hit it like it slapped his mother. That thing just come in and just... whoo -wee. Powerful fish, man. They're not even that big, really, compared to what you can get them. Come on, baby, get up here. Come to Papa. All right, I've got color. I can see him down there. It is a beautiful yellow fin tuna. It's another one. He's going to start doing circles around the bottom of the boat now. I can see him. He's beautiful. Come on, baby, please, just please hook stay in. I've never wanted a hook to stay into a fish ever this bad in my life. Look at him, head down, spinning circles around the bottom of the boat, doing what tuna do. Come on, buddy. All right, I got leader. Oh no, he's pulling it out. I don't know if you guys can see the bait fish over my back corner. Holy shit. Ah! <laughs> Just as you think you've won the battle. That was his last little bit of energy, I reckon. I'll go all day, mate. I'll stay here till the sun comes up. Don't you dare go under there. All right, this is where it becomes hard. Gaffing by yourself, solo gaff missions. No, 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 not now, not now, not now. I'm back. Do your circle, do your circles, buddy. Now? Now. Oh yeah, that's a gaff in it. a photo with this fish i can give you the hot tip but here he is look at this beautiful beautiful yellow fin tuna look at that mate one hook oh look at that the hooks snap there beautiful fish oh man yeah doggies i'm not putting this thing any higher than that there i'll give you the hot tip Oh my goodness, that was chaotic. I think, I don't, I don't even know how many we lost, but we lost way more than we actually should have. I've got another rod out. I've actually got two rods trolling out the back because my friend called me today. He wants a tuna and um, now I want a bloody tuna. They're beautiful, honest. So shame me that up with a couple of beers tonight. And um, I just want to get one more. If I don't get one more, I don't care, man. I really don't care, but hopefully we get one more. We'll make a little bit of sashimi and um, I'm excited, eh? That's so sick, bro. I'm scared to even pick it up and oh, pick it up. It's in that, that bucket at the back. It's like, look, it's like in there bleeding at the moment. Yeah, froth town. Woo! Oh, how good. And there it was. There was the day's fishing. That was super bloody fun. And um, like I said in the video, roast me in the comments section because what I did with that fish, mate, if I filmed that, if I actually got that on camera, basically what happened was I had that fish. It was bigger than this one. This one, this one come in at exactly 20 kilo on the dot. And that one that I had was a little bit bigger. I basically I had him in my arm like that. I was trying to take a photo and then I just started do the, the tuna wobble. It was just wobbling me like, Ugh. and then as it sort of launched out of my hands, it hit the GoPro, the GoPro fell in the water. The tuna went in the water. I had the tuna, I jumped in fully close. Thongs, everything, sunny's on. 
I grabbed the tuna and then I seen this GoPro about a meter down. So I'm trying to swim down with a fish in one hand. It was just a shit show. So I had to let the tuna go, grab the GoPro, got the GoPro back, saved the footage and um, obviously lost the fish. But we did hook up to a couple more and we landed one beautiful one. So what I've done is I've just processed that fish up on the table here. I'll show you guys the amount of beautiful, beautiful meat you get from these things. We are going to be eating real good. Have a look at the quality of this meat up here. This is incredible. So what we've got is we've got the two belly flaps here. Now this on a yellowfin tuna or most tuna, this is the fattiest piece of the fish. You can see that beautiful bit of fat there. You can see it all in there. That is the belly of the fish. So we've got two belly lines there. We've got two shoulders here. I mean, look at the color of this meat, man. It's been on ice. It's actually freezing cold. It's still really, really cold. You got two shoulders here, and then you got the two belly straps here. So that's a shoulder and a belly, shoulder and a belly. So you can see the beautiful, beautiful colors in this meat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, cut it all up right now, put it into bags, and then um, we are going to make ourselves a health feed down here on the beach, watching that sunset. Might even crack a cold beer, and um, it's going to be a bloody good time. Down here in the esky, I look. Yeah, doggies! <laughs> Down here in the esky, you've got that beautiful fish head, like I said. That's going to be turned into a soup. My friend wants that, so they're going to get that. They're probably going to get half of this as well. And, um, mate, we've got one hell of a feed coming up. I reckon instead of bagging it all up, because I'm down the beach, that sun's racing down, I might just fill up this pot full of fillets, and I'll do it later on when I get home in a non-sandy environment. So I'll just run this razor-sharp knife through. Look at that, man. Oh my goodness, this is going to fill this pot to the brim. It's going to make nice tuna steaks like this. Look at that. It's always nice to take care of the fish. I, I, I really do enjoy catching a fish and taking care of it. Like, making sure there's no sand, no salt water, I mean, no fresh waters touch the meat. Just trying to keep it as nice as possible because you have taken an animal from the ocean and um, I don't know, I just really do take pride in, like, look at that, how can you not be proud of that? You can see those colors, big rainbows in that meat there, beautiful, fresh, my God. It would be rude not to do this part of the video with a good old-fashioned rad can. Let's go. Cheers, doggies. Here's to a new boat. Here's to catching big fish flat out 24-7. Oh, that's good. All right. So this piece of fish here, this is a slob of a bit of fish. This is a beautiful bit of fish. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to run this knife straight down the center just like that. Now, this... Look at that. Look at that, dude. I can't get over it. I'm so, it's just so good to go out there and catch your own food like this. We'll do another one about here. Put this one to the side. My goodness. Now, what I'm going to do with this, we're going to make some sashimi. So I'm just going to slice nice pieces. But to do that, we're going to have to make a brick. And what you want to do is you want to see which way the grain's going of the fish. And then it's going to take our knife. This knife's extremely sharp. Just run it through, fold that back. We're basically left with this beautiful square of tuna like that. All right, what we'll do is we'll move the um, filleting station down here so you guys got a little bit better light. That light's pumping down right now. It's a little bit hard to see, but we have got an incredible slice of meat like you just saw. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take nice Thin, not too thin, I like it kind of thick, so not too thick, but just nice slices. Just like, look at that, dude. Beautiful slices like this. Start the knife at the top, it should just be able to run in one push like that. If you've got the correct knife, beautiful pieces. Just running it through. Oh man, this is what it's all about. This thing was swimming around yesterday. About this time we got the fish yesterday, actually. It was literally about this time. Look at that. This is the most satisfying thing, ready? Watch this. 
literally just falls through like butter. Oh man. Wrap your eyes around that, dude. Look at this. We ain't, we ain't going too fancy out here, but we're definitely going fresh. All I've got is a little bit of soy sauce, which I had in the car, and a plate, and that's basically all we're gonna do. But bust the lid off this soy sauce. We're just gonna give this fish a nice little dancing of soy sauce. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I do have one other element which could make this epic. Hold up. Lemon, man. I nearly forgot lemon. Let's slice that lemon in half. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. A little bit of lemon. Let's give that a, just a slight, not too much lemon. A little bit, that'll do. Here we go. Fresh yellowfin tuna caught exactly this time yesterday in the boat. Man, I'm excited, hey? Look at this. Let's give it a good drowning. Look at that. See you later. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No way, dude. I'm not even, I'm just gonna say it. This is the best sashimi I've ever had. Like, I'm not even kidding right now. That is so fresh and beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, we did good. That's really, 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 really bloody good. Look at that. Oh my God. It doesn't even taste like fish. That does, that does not, that's incredible. It doesn't even taste like fish whatsoever. It is super soft. I'm going back out. Look at this for a scenery right now, dude. So it doesn't get much better than this. We've got probably about 15 kilos of this in the fridge right now. That is a big juicy slice of the freshest yellowfin tuna you can get. Lemon, a little bit of soy sauce out of the back of the troop dog. And we have a plate of goodness here, man. That tastes absolutely bloody incredible. Hold that up to the light, look at that. It really doesn't get any fresher than that. Cold can, mate, right, tell you what, this is what it's all about. Fishing missions like that, especially when you're solo, just gives it that edge. It's so much harder to fish, but when you get a fish, it's super fun, man. I lost a heap of fish yesterday. We got the one big dog and um, that's what life's all about. Smiles all round. Cheers, doggies. That is <coughs> absolutely phenomenal. Really, I'm not just saying it. That really is incredible. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna eat this whole entire plate. I'm probably gonna smash this beautiful fresh steak of tuna right there and um, have a beer, watch that sunset and um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video on the next adventure. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you and um, much love doggies. Bye! Look at that. How could you not like that? Wow.